We were kids in love trying to figure life out and now we're living in life and seeing new places we thought we'd never see. You are truly the one person who brings out the best in me. I still can't believe such a beautiful, inspiring, and motivating woman like you chose a guy like me to experience this journey with. You know me better than anybody else in this world and somehow you still, still manage to love me. You are my best friend and the one true love. dreamt of this day. You want it to be perfect. And as your mom, I've dreamt of it for you too. I dreamt of everything that you wanted for the perfect man who's gonna love you and take care of you. And with Joe, you found that, but not after a quick chase in the park. <laughs> he got away, but for some reason, he came back after seeing how crazy I was. But you guys have built a beautiful, beautiful life together. And Joe, you are the perfect provider for my daughter and I couldn't have asked for somebody better. Think about it constantly. I promise I won't let you down. But when I asked, you told me yes. To be in mind forever. Watching you from being my little baby girl to becoming a young lady. I couldn't ask for a better daughter. That's brought the best years of my life, especially bringing me two awesome, beautiful grandchildren. Just remember, you will always be my little baby girl and you will always be my champion. Yeah. I'm so proud to also call you Joe, my son-in-law. I love you guys more than you know. If I say anymore, I'm gonna start fucking balling. You know, I love you guys. I love you guys to the fucking moon back. You know, you know, you guys, you guys have me right here, heart and soul. We made it finally in our favorite place with our beautiful girls and our wonderful family. Over these 12 years, I've had the time, a lot of time, to look back and realize that you showed me what real love is. We were so young when we met, and I was lost, but you found me. You taught me how to love and to be all the things I wasn't before I met you. I can't thank you enough. I promise to always be a person. I promise to always talk you off on our road trips. And most importantly, I promise to always give you the pepperonis off my pizza. <laughs>
By the authority vested in me as Deputy Commissioner Civil of Civil Marriage, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Can you stand up, please? Stick your right hand out. Stick your right hand out. Straight out in front of you. Joe, please stand up. I want you to stick your hand right on top of Carissa's. On top. Now, Joe, from man to man, husband to husband, this is absolutely the last time you will ever have the upper hand. <laughs> Oh, no.